I see. It's a friend of your daughter's, huh? Well, in that case, there's nothing to it. Huh? Oh, you want another hundred tickets for benefit, huh? Why, thank you. The boys will sure appreciate that, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, the bag. Sure, we'll send that right over to you, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> I bet you're talking to a guy named Kennedy. So you're going to drop the case, huh? That's the trouble with you newspaper guys. You're always trying to stir up a lot of dirt. And I... I can't have these? No, you cannot. Hey, wait a minute, Cap. What a pal. Darn clever of her, I'll say, leaving her bag. Oh, no, Margot, I don't think she was that kind of a girl. I found her very interesting. In her apartment? Oh, please, please, don't be crude. Darling, James Walton Kennedy knows his women. Don't you dare. Mm. <clears throat> and if you don't mind my contradicting you, she must be that sort, as you put it or she wouldn't have been out with him. You admire me greatly, don't you, my dear? Well, did it ever occur to you that it might have been purely, uh, <clears throat> business? Well, yes, certainly. She was only Two telling me... souls with but a single thought. Oh, Larry, did the moonlight affect you too, my own? Oh. I wish you'd behave yourself. <clears throat> uh, Suki, 